Hey guys, welcome to Offshoot Comics Off Topic. We're your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. Also known as David Clark. And Walter Bryant. And today we're talking about the premiere of Arrow Season 2. Yeah, so let's just start out with a really, really quick anecdote. Um, we were watching this at my house. We missed the first six minutes. So we left my house because I wasn't recording it. <laughs> and came to my house, house where, where it was recording. Where it was recording. And we started, and we started over. started over from the beginning. That first it, six minutes, a lot happened. It really did. Minutes. Oh my god! Like, we, like I had no idea. The only thing we actually knew was that Oliver was on the island. Yeah. So he went back. Probably he went back to the island. Yeah. So, so when we came into the living room and he was already back in Starling City, we we're like, okay, nah, we've man. missed something. We got here. Oh my god! So much happened in that first six minutes. Yep. He went back to the island. Um, Felicity and uh, Diggle jumped out of a rusty old airplane which was hilarious dude diggle has got to be like the most loyal friend on the planet i mean there's more no so he heck yeah like diggle's not gonna tag felicity because uh you know mm -hmm. he, he knows he, that he's so funny. loyal to his brother who's been dead for forever he's like he was interested and his wife is ex well, i guess his, his widow mm -hmm. but he's like nah man this don't feel right <laughs> That's how loyal this man is. This man's this man's got loyalty. And she was like, all over him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's hot too. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's, <laughs> it's like that. It's like that. So yeah, so then they they, they get on the island like, uh, hey, you should come back because it sucks. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, you know, my my best friend died. Leave me alone. Get over it. This, yeah, get over it. And they're like, yeah, but a bunch of people are going to lose their jobs. And, and he, oddly enough, he's a good enough guy now. Yeah, that that actually like, mattered right. to him. So he was like, "Okay, fine, I'll come back." Right. So he, but I won't be the arrow. Like, right. Well, exactly. Uh, uh, yeah. The hood. The yeah. Hood. The hood. Yeah. So he comes back, and uh, apparently, some chick. Uh, she was the Terminator in the TV show. Um, she's like, "Hey, I'm gonna take your company," because apparently, someone like I don't understand this happens. They just let people just be buying shares. Like there was no one on Oliver's side. <laughs> really? Okay. Well, to be fair. Uh, Bruce Wayne lost his entire company in the last Batman movie, and they all. But that was to Bane, not little pretty girl. No, 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 no. Yeah, I mean he lost it to Bane, but they just kind of all booted him out. They're like, "Yeah, your dad built this. We don't give a crap. Go away now. Yeah. We're selling your business." But, the whole thing. No, but that's Gotham though. Gotham is corrupt as crap. You can't trust no one in Gotham. That's not the first time this happened in the movies though. <laughs> no. He's always it's like he's, he's always, always losing his company. Uh, by the way, I it's mean, all Tony Stark. Yeah. These well, guys can't keep their company. Yeah, Tony Stark just builds a better one though. Right. Yeah. But I mean, like Norman Osborne in the first Spider Man movie. Yeah. That's how that's how he became the Green Goblin. He was getting ready to lose his company. They kicked him off the they like, Yeah, you're on the board. We're gonna sell your company and they don't want you here, so we expect you to quit. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. so anyway, she's like, you don't have the right amount of shares or blah blah blah. By uh, the way, if any of you decide that you want to buy into Offshoot Comics, you're only going to be able to get up to forty nine percent. Yeah, we are never ever selling more than fifty one percent. That's retarded. <laughs> uh, but anyways, so then uh, Oliver goes to see his mom, and he's all like, I don't know what to do. He's like, Well, what about your family? Su leaving it super vague, mm -hmm. like. He could have missed that hint. Now, honestly, <laughs> yeah, like, well, she probably told him, but we we, yeah. we, we went to commercial. Yeah. But, um, yeah, like, I honestly thought that she was saying Thea has a trust fund, too. That's what, that's what I assumed. Yeah. Unless like, they just don't care about her. I mean, because she has a trust fund, and for the last few months, she's been making money off that club. Mm-hmm. His club. Yeah, yeah, his club. Which she's just claimed somehow. Oh, by the way, everything in the club is now red. Um, the commercials for the Four Fiesta, which was that had Diggle in it. Was all red. I'm assuming they're hinting at something. Yeah, yeah. Roy is wearing a red hood. I'm just saying. Yeah. I mean, he, it, like, it, to fight crime. And he's uh trying to protect people and trying to save Oliver's sister. You know, so mm -hmm. he's probably going to get some training pretty soon because he's going to realize he can't do it by himself. The Arrow Cave was cool. Yeah, or the Quiver uh, for yeah. people who played Injustice. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so then um. He goes. Uh, he goes to the board meeting. She insults him the entire time. Mm -hmm. Then there's a gun attack because the hoods are like, "Hey, we want to be heard." Yeah. Speaking of that, because the hood disappeared, some new people have showed up, calling themselves the hoods. Yeah. And uh, they seem to have missed that um, the hood was doing things to avenge people for thing for things that were wrong. These guys are just out for revenge. To be fair. To be fair, the rich people did try and sink your entire living area underground. Yeah, but also to be fair, you know how like 
there used to be that when people went out and got revenge, they got revenge against people who actually did it. Yeah. Now they're 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 popping people who are off to the side of the people who did it and saying it yes, your sense. fault. It no, sense. it makes no sense. It makes it tons of r- rational rage sense. <laughs> but anyway, so they, they they killed the mayor in the middle of a dinner, um, which is a really brave move, by the way, because the cameras were all there and everyone saw it. Laurel fights one of them, gets a gun, and then immediately is captured. Yeah, because she, she sucks. She's so bad. She can't be black and <laughs> She, like, and we, uh, yeah, I think yeah, basically because black and is somebody who sits in the same room as people who fight dark side. You can't beat two gunmen, one of which didn't even have a complete hand. But he was a marine, though. No, you're you sit with Superman. <laughs> you're at the cool kids table. <laughs> you train Superboy. She can't train Superboy. She can't train. She can't. She no 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 no. So, but yeah, so that, that happened, and then uh, you know, Oliver's there. She's like, "Oh, it was a mistake that we slept together," and he's like, "Oh, well, maybe." But in, in his head, he's like, "Nah, man." Okay, <laughs> let's break this down real quick, just right. real quick. Okay, mm-hmm. Laurel is saying that she betrayed Tommy. Okay, now Oliver was her boyfriend. Oliver supposedly died. She did Tommy. Oliver came. Wait, no, no, now she, no, Oliver died screwing her sister. Yeah, yeah, okay, but still, <laughs> but, like, like, she may not have betrayed Oliver, but Tommy did. He did. This, 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 is, this is bro code right here. Yeah. Okay, Oliver's back before they ever, te- they, before they do anything. Right. They, he's been trying to get her out on a date. Oliver right. shows up, she goes on a date with him. Okay, so, bro code clearly demands here, nothing else can happen. But then Oliver was like, oh, you should do it. Broco clearly demands here that you go to the woman and say, my boy is back, and even though he says it's okay, it ain't okay. Yeah, it was really awkward. It was super awkward. <laughs> and then, uh, and then, well, they, they actually end up doing it yeah, yeah. on the season finale, so obviously um, she wasn't over it. Yeah, something was there. So, uh, so anyways, after that, then um, some more some more stuff happens. Cle- uh, what's, her, what's her name? Speedy? Cleo, Cleo, yeah, um, whatever her name is, Thea, Thea, whatever the chick who's annoying. She's uh making out with a with a this is this is called Red Arrow because that's what he is. Uh, making out with Red Arrow and she sees a bruise on him because he's been going out trying to be a hero or whatever. She's like, I don't want to have I'm a, I'm a female, and he's like, I'm doing some good. She's like, No, I'm mad at you. Why? Why? What are you doing? Save the world. <laughs> She's running a bar. Oh yeah, because that doesn't cause any problems, right? Well, I mean, it got her kidnapped, but aside from that, yeah. it didn't cause any problem. Oh, yeah, she got kidnapped. Yeah, and that 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 is what brings Oliver out right. of retirement, because, like, nothing else is going to bring him out of retirement. His mom is in prison, his best friend's dead. He has no intention of doing anything. Right. His little sister got, got, got kidnapped. Yeah, so then uh, Felicity apparently has been working on the Arrow Cave, or the Quiver, and uh, it looks like the Bat Cave now. And yeah. she got him a custom-made bow, which uh, which was pretty awesome. Which actually. Was way better than yeah. the last one. That last yeah. one was garbage. Yeah, it was, that, that was a nice bow. Yeah, but uh, how do you how do you bring a bow of a custom bow into Starling City, and nobody asked the question? You're rich. Well, she's not rich. She probably bought the queen. That's probably true. And even if she didn't, she's a blonde chick who does computers. Oh, and one other thing. Huh. How does the hood show up a year ago when Oliver shows up and nobody nobody has a problem with this they've already and seen. then he disappears when Oliver disappears well, because then he shows back up when Oliver shows back well, up it's and the first thing he does is saves Oliver's sister well no, here, here, here's why here's why here's why alright just saying here's why okay. because he, they already did that thing where they thought it was him and he was in jail and he was out killing people and they can't be the same person Right. Walter, this is the same world that follows Kim Kardashian more than the government shut down. <laughs> uh, this is so funny. Check and mate. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so he uh, he saves Thea and then, uh, or whatever her name is, Thea, right? Thea, Thea. yeah. Little and sister. then uh, he's going to, like, he, he shoots one guy. He falls off the, off the balcony and he, he's holding on to him. And he's like, you're a killer and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, no, I'm finding another way. So this is basically the, this is the beginning of him, him building his resume for the Justice League. Yeah. Oh, and by <laughs> the way, um, I don't care how scared you are about the fact you're hanging off a balcony at a church or whatever. I think they were at a church. Yeah, church. Yeah. Um, 
you're looking dead at dude's face. You can see that's Oliver Queen. Nope. The light. Nope. Just, nope. 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 He's got paint around his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and his voice is a little different, so. Nope. And you can you can see it was Oliver. Nope, I mean, nope, like, there, nope. there's there's no way dude's not looking at his Alter, face. Going, Alter, this is the same world <laughs> that you could have a high profile reporter named Clark Kent, and then he just takes his glasses off. Might actually still be wearing the same thing, and now he's <laughs> Superman. Are you kidding me with that? No, they're magic glasses though. Okay, you got a test fighter pilot. Who has just looked, you see his face, and then a little black thing goes over it, and he starts going green, and all of a sudden now he's he's someone different. His girlfriend recognized him. But Lois Lane never recognized Superman. Not ever. Really? Oh, oh, she's she, stupid. She, yeah. Oh, she's dumb. <laughs> you are sleeping with this man. You have seen him without the glasses. <laughs> Amy Adams, Lois Lane, recognized right, him because yeah. she, she found him as Clark Kent. So there was no issue for her. But but like the Lois Lanes before, they yeah they slept with him, kissed him. Arrow, Green Lantern, and Superman have the worst disguises. There. I mean, the next step is just no, walking no, out there with your face. <laughs> no, Green Arrows is probably the worst of all of them because in the comic books he's wearing that goatee. Mm-hmm. You know the 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 Robin Hood goatee, yeah. and, and then all he does is puts on a mask that's about this big. And then he his same blonde hair hanging out. Well, actually no, there is one person who has the worst disguise. That's Black Canary. Who Hers puts on a blonde wig? wig. Yeah. What? You haven't heard of hair dye or something? I mean, come on, come on. She wears a mask in some universes. Yeah, not not all of them. <laughs> but anyway, so, <laughs> so so he saves the guy and he captures them and he tells uh, Lieutenant, whatever Laurel's dad's name is, uh, I'm trying a different way. I'm not going to kill Lance. them. Lance, whatever. He's not important. He's just not important at all. Um, well, but she her name is Laurel Dinah Lance, so she's supposed to be the Black Canary. No, she's not. She's Black not. Canary. No, she's not. She's, she's not terrible. the Black Canary at so, all. So he leaves. Um, uh, he, he leaves the the guys alive there, and goes back to the board meeting, and uh, he brings in uh, uh, Walter. Walter, who says, "I we bought the other remaining shares because I'm a CFO at another company, and they just allowed me to do that." Yeah. <laughs> oh, bald-headed black guys named Walter are, are ultra cool. Oh, Just really? Oh, you, yeah. you, you're a little biased on it, I think. No, no. Oh, okay. Totally unbiased. Now, one thing we were a little upset about is they had a perfect opportunity to do a Batman crossover. Because at this one point where Chick, who's not Terminator, says, what, you, you're going to get a white knight to come and save you? And I'm like, no, you, this is what you say, a dark knight. <laughs> yeah, it would have been, been a great, I mean, you, yeah. you don't even have to say it. You could have just had like Ben Affleck sitting somewhere off to the side mm-hmm. in a chair and spin around. Yeah, ex- thank you or something. He'd like it, it, it would have been implied, yeah. kind of like Avengers Assemble, where they didn't say it. You just had the Avengers all land in a circle and then they showed it, and you go, "They're assembled," and yes. you just you knew, you knew, and you knew. But I mean, they, they missed the she's the, like, they missed the shot. She, yeah, she's like, you know, there's no one's gonna come in and save you, dude. There is. You already made the 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 billionaire uh, vigilante thing reference last. Last uh, season, go with it. All, I mean, because Batman is around. Because mm-hmm. didn't the order of superheroes go Superman, then Batman, and then no one cares who else came after? But yeah, but <laughs> not, but not anymore. Because really? now it's Batman came first, ben then Superman. Superman for for the for the cinematic universe. Because remember, the reason they chose Affleck is because they want him to be older oh, than right, Superman yeah, yeah. and have had some experience. So. He's going to show up and basically try to school Superman. I don't really see how that's going to happen. A but. lot of kryptonite. Like, so much kryptonite. <laughs> <laughs> like, he needs to make Gotham turn into kryptonite. But, um, <laughs> but no, they, they missed that, that crossover. They, they, yeah, they really could have... I mean, they, they could just make a little Batman reference and it would have been hilarious. Because you know Batman is watching what's going on. Of course. Because he, he, and he knows who, who the Arrow is. Yeah, because he's he's right now well, one, got he, that same generator because he's like Ra's al Ghul's gonna try to use this, right. and I'm gonna make sure that I and already have. Also, Batman has eyes. Yeah, I mean he yeah. he he saw the, the he's like he like the paint's not fooling me. That's not gonna work. <laughs> now, there was one more thing that happened at the end of the episode that uh we knew was <laughs> we knew was gonna happen when he's basically because you know the the hoods basically kind of ruined that name mm-hmm. for him yeah he's killed people yeah well they kill they, people they and blow like, things up and yeah you know so, I need a new name well, what do you want to be called Looking and he's at, staring at a green arrow it's like, and it goes off yeah what do you call arrow no just say it just say it just say it we know we already know <laughs> just say it 
so that we have the satisfaction of having heard it. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? He's probably not even going to say it next episode. He's probably going to, at the end of the episode, shoot an arrow into a wall or something, mm -hmm. and he's, someone's going to pull it off a car. Pull yeah, off it's going to say green arrow. But, he's, but you're not going to read it. They're not going to read it out loud. They're going to go, look, it's the... And it'll go off again. They'll, they'll, they'll say around episode five, they'll actually say out loud, yeah. green arrow or something but in I, a news. I think, though, they're going to start doing the trigger arrows now. Because he, he, he's got the, uh, the bat grappling hook <laughs> arrow. Yeah. I think the boxing glove is next. And then the freezing, lightning, fire arrows arrow. But Flashbangs, you know, yeah. something. Because he's trying to look for, look for another way now. And plus, they're not going to let him into the league killing people. <laughs> Well, they might. I mean, well, you know, Superman, Superman and Justice killed Boy. somebody, and Batman. Well, technically, Batman hasn't existed right now. Right. But, but if he had, well, in the first Batman movie, he killed Ra's al Ghul. I mean, you can say technically he didn't, but he did. He, he but not, not not saving the guy is the same as right. killing. Now, one thing I I mean, like I wanted this to happen last season, but I guess since he wasn't Green Arrow yet, it didn't work. I would like this season to end with him getting an invitation. You know, into the, the, the league. league, or having somebody appear because they kind of have to now because Marvel already decided to cross the movie over with the TV show. Yeah, well, with Samuel see, Jackson, it's going to be real easy for them to do that though because since they're giving the Flash his own TV show and they're going to have him on three episodes anyway, right. you could just very simply at the end of uh, at the end of the season mm -hmm. have like a red blur go by and go out and there'll be a card that says JL on it laying on the desk. <laughs> Dude, do you know how? Oh my god. That was, that was just amazing just imagining that. Just like, ow! Yeah, but unlike um, the Avengers, you know, the Justice League actually, actually you, you can, have to be able can, to do some things. You can have a broom. They're like, dude, you are an Avenger today. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, in fear itself, they made the whole world Avengers. They really did. They did. They said we're all At Avengers the end right of now. Earth's Mightiest Heroes, they did. Yeah. Everyone's, they, everyone's, like, everyone's an Avenger. They said, everyone. anyone who's got powers, we're fighting Galactus today. Yeah. Let's, let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> like, but, and, and Clint. Yeah. <laughs> hey, come on. Come on. Poor hot guy. <laughs> With your 11 arrows. <laughs> I'm I'm sort of scared about Flash because he, he's coming from Glee. And they say he's going to have the real Flash suit, though. Not, yeah. not like not like the, the Smallville suit. Okay. Um, you should show a picture of the Smallville Flash suit. Okay. <laughs> that was terrible. Now, the actual Flash suit should look... You know, like the Flash, like that, like that. Yeah. <laughs> so now, hopefully, we get that suit instead of that first suit because yeah. that's terrible. We don't want to see that. And they and they're saying we're not going to get Smallville versions of Flash, the Flash suit. We're actually going to get the actual Flash suit. Yeah. So that would be great. That's what we're hoping for. And if that's if that happens, let's hope Glee Boy grows some muscles because he is really. Super I just skinny. hope it works because I, I mean I've seen him in Glee and. In terms of Glee, I think it was great, but I don't know if he has it in him to be Flash. He's skinny. And he's not funny. And he's skinny. And he's not tough. And he's skinny. And he looks like he's 13. And he's skinny. <laughs> <laughs> but it, no, is it, no, this Flash, does that mean he's landed the role for his own show and the movie? Yeah. It does. He has a really good agent. Because <laughs> he just got a cameo into a show, into a movie, into a bigger movie. Well, I mean, he he basically backdoor backwards Samuel L. Jackson. He killed somebody, dude, to get that role, or did some couch stuff that he's not proud of. So there's not, <laughs> oh, you came out of nowhere. Cause he wasn't even a major player on that show, dude. Yeah, no, like like here's one of those moments where, okay, frankly, I thought Liam Hemsworth should have played should have been chosen to play Batman. Mm -hmm. Liam Hemsworth should have been played chosen to play uh, the Flash. He's a much better choice. Well, yeah. Plus, then. You continue the Marvel and DC rivalry even down to the bloodlines. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, but uh, I, hope, I mean, unless unless they're trying to pick young actors because they're, they're going to be doing this for a while. Well, that was the that was the reasoning behind picking um, Chris Hemsworth to be um, Thor mm -hmm. and Chris whatever the other guy's name is to be Captain so, America. So that they, they can grow so, into so it. So that they so that they would be able to do it for like ten years and still look the same. Right. Yeah. Especially Thor, he's immortal. Yeah. You're not supposed to grow ten years older, but he, but he does grow a uh, epic beard. Yeah, every time, epic beard. <laughs> and, and, and and in this new movie, he's gonna have the epic ponytail. Yeah, you know, and on, only people like Thor can pull that off. Because if if you are not Thor, you look gay. <laughs> if you are Thor, women love you. <laughs> <laughs> even if you look gay. Even even if, even if you are gay, because they like, still like want to take a shot. Because <laughs> let's be real, because you know women women like gay guys. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, so 
that's what's what's going on right now. In Arrow. In Arrow. Because in Arrow. that was what we were supposed to be talking about. Yeah, we, but we went we, off topic. That's what we did talk about, I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly. So yeah, Flash, looking forward to it. Kinda Yeah. Kinda scared. But Arrow's looking really good though. Yes. Arrow, Arrow is on its stuff right now. There's still flashbacks. Because there's I mean, they can technically have flashbacks for the whole run of the show. Because there is five years of stuff on there. Yeah, and we've only gone through a year of it. Yeah. And actually, even that, like, you know, they're like, okay, New Year, he's been gone, what, like six months or whatever. Yeah. Six months seems to be the, the thing happening right now. Yeah, that, that's that's the standard. <laughs> and, you know, he comes back, and after a couple of months of, after a couple of months, he learned how to shoot an arrow, and then suddenly now he's uh, as good a fighter as Deathstroke. Yes. Because that works. Well, I think I think what it is is because being on the island, it teaches you a certain level of just I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Plus, what else does he have to do? Well, he's got something else to do. Deathstroke has nothing else to do. Yeah. I mean, and he let him know too. He popped him in the head with a. <laughs> well, you know what though? I mean, like even though he's not trained and doesn't know anything, I mean, at the end of the day, your potential is still there. And yeah. this, and this is the guy who runs with the lead, which means, I mean, from the moment he was born, that potential was there somewhere. You just gotta. You just had to dig really, really, really deep, and have him think he was gonna die and feel guilty about killing his sisters, and uh, then give his him a really, sister. really hot Asian chick on an island all alone. By the way, I feel bad for Slade because he is not getting none of that. <laughs> he is not sharing right now. He is, that is not cool. You learned that in third grade. Sharing is caring. <laughs> Anyways, on that note. <laughs> Until next week's episode of Arrow, we've been your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys. Hey, guys, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and share our videos like crazy. That's right, because we love you, we want you to love us, and we want to keep making videos for you. And keep leaving us comments. We love comments. Yes, and we answer comments. Unlike some of the other guys, we'll get out there, we'll answer, and if you uh, have a great comment, we'll make a video about it. And if you have a not-so-great comment, we will try to address that issue. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, thanks. Till next time, we've been your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys.